Hello, my name is Vanna Hong. I'm one of the nursing graduate students here at Mount St. Mary College. I am currently a family nurse practitioner program student, and I'm also a graduate assistant to the Office of Online Learning. I want to present a small PowerPoint regarding online learning and its importance to the nursing faculty and students. Why do we have online learning? Online learning, or blended or hybrid learning, is a current trend that many nurses um, used in order to continue their education. Many people at this time prefer to do online learning courses because most are either working full-time or part-time or even have families. So they choose to do online learning because it is something that is convenient, something that can be done at home, they can do it at their own pace, and it's just a, another learning option that people will choose. As options of education increase, so do both the opportunity and the responsibility of their learner. I know Mount St. Mary College uses the blended or hybrid learning for their RN to BSN program and also for the nursing graduate programs, which uses approximately 30% in-class sessions and 70% of it is online. There are several common influences that affect the use of online learning. From the faculty and students' perspective, many feel that it can be time-consuming, that there could be more formal training needed for online learning, and also that there's always a constant need of technical support. With a faculty, I know some may feel that it's hard to get to know their students because they're not face-to-face -face with the students. It's hard to connect with their students in a way. Some faculty feel like there's an increase in workload, especially if they're not proficient in advanced technology. They feel that there's an increased time for implementation. With students, many feel like that time management can be a challenge when it comes to online learning. They feel like there could be a silence among peers and the faculty if there's any trouble with communication. There's also um, a heavier workload since many of it could be based on their pace, on how they complete their tasks, their homework, their assignments. Um, some believe there's a disconnection between the program and the objectives. There are some needs for positive outcome in online learning. Interaction and communication is crucial when it comes to online setting. If there is an imbalance, it can affect um, the benefits of online learning. Establishing different learning styles for all learners should be supported. Um, the support from faculty is always needed with students. If they don't feel like their support, they have that increase and anxiety and they don't feel the connection like they do face to face. With faculty and student technical competence is very important. If they aren't competent, if they're not getting the proper training, it could be difficult and it could also be stressful. In one study they believed that there's a positive response when course outcomes were being met. Participants were satisfied with delivery methods, course design, faculty participation, and feedback. Content was current, challenging, and stimulating with critical thinking. Many Mount St. Mary College students, I believe they should be more informed with the Office of Online Learning um, so they can learn the importance of what this office has to offer, how can it assist faculty and students. Most students aren't aware of the office, so usually when they have questions regarding e-class, they either talk to their professors or they even talk to um, IT, the technical support system here at Mount St. Mary College. Um, but if they have any questions, they can always direct it to the Office of Online Learning if they use the ticket system, which can be found on the um, online learning website. And here is a preview of what the Office of Online Learning website looks like. They can be found on the Mount St. Mary website, or it can also be found on eClass on their homepage. But it also has instructor and um, student resources, if you guys haven't seen this before. And there's also a tab for RSVPing, which I will mention later. Many students feel proficient when they do either online modules or in-class orientations with learning management systems such as eClass. When they feel confident, many feel like there's a significant decrease in stress and anxiety. Online learning or hybrid nursing programs at Mount St. Mary College should consider requiring e-class orientation, either online or schedule in a campus workshop 
with the Office of Online Learning. They can do it by RSVPing, which I showed you previously, on the Office of Online Learning website. Once they finish the orientation, there can be a quiz that they can take to measure their proficiency. Based on one study I found, an online orientation course can give students a stimulated experience of a course in a short period of time. It can highlight and reinforce necessary computer skills needed for the courses in the curriculum. Online orientation courses can also help students appreciate what e-learning entails with enhanced education through the accelerated learning modules, students become proficient with distant education. Here are a few characteristics of a successful online learner. Self-discipline is important because although they have the flexibility with the scheduling and with how they can manage their task in the course, some students find that it's kind of hard to be motivated to actually sit down and do their coursework at a certain time. Although it is paced based on the students, it still can be difficult, especially with people having busy lifestyles. They also feel like they miss the face-to-face -face interaction with their instructors and peers, so some feel it could be difficult, but learners have to participate actively and seek assistance from their faculty when they need it. They need to learn how to work on their own to meet deadlines. Learning styles, um, everyone has a different learning styles, but with successful online learners, usually many have to be independent and self-motivated and also collaborative and be good participants. It is possible that some learners feel like they get lost with online classwork because they don't have the face-to-face -face interaction that can stimulate them to um, also motivate themselves into using online learning successfully. With computer literacy, there is a need for a strong reading and writing skills because most of the online material is likely to be presented in written form. A strong reading and critical thinking skills are essential. Time management is another essential requirement. Um, keep in mind that learners need about 12 hours a week to successfully complete a three credit course online. Identifying sufficient time to devote to each course is essential. So the student needs to be responsible on how to manage their time effectively and that way they can successfully complete the course. Um, like I said before, with, pro with students, there needs to be a proactive engagement in order to um, get the most out of the online experience. I know in the graduate program, um, we have discussion forums that we um, actively use to participate in assignments where each student contributes their opinion or their, um, their knowledge regarding a certain topic. So in order to get the most out of it, the student needs to actively engage and participate and get, so they can get the most out of the um, online educational experience. Students can always ask for help from their instructors or from the Office of Online Learning, but it's still the responsibility of the student to complete this course successfully. Here are some suggestions that I have for um, the Mount St. Mary College nursing program. Um, I know with the RN to BSN program and the graduate um, page, there can be a way that they can identify how online learning works at this college. Every college is different. I found with um, Kaplan University, they had a um, be like a brief description of what to expect when it comes to online learning, what courses, like the curriculum they'll be expecting, uh, just a brief um, preview of what how they use um, online learning on their webpage. I believe in incorporating a mandatory e-class orientation either online or an, on an on-campus workshop for all nursing students. That way, they can familiarize themselves and learn how to navigate through e-class effectively before they start school or their first day of class. Um, placing an Office of Online Learning website as a resource to the graduate bulletin or the undergraduate bulletin. I know you guys have that on your e-class. Um, it could also be a, a helpful resource that they can look at, looking at to, um, little virtual tours and know what to expect with online learning. I know with um, the graduate program, we have a lot of our coursework is online, so 
influencing faculty with the use of technology nowadays such as Skype, emailing, texting, or messaging can be great communication tools for students who have to do group work. One of the projects I'm working on now is proposing a survey or questionnaire to all nursing students on their needs and wants with e-class. I can get somewhat of an idea of what I can contribute or help um, the nursing students when it comes to learning with the online learning system, what's helpful, what's not helpful, just to get some feedback from them. Um, we, I'm also creating a Google website for the current new nursing students. Um, it can also, right now it's just, it's in the process, but I place like clinical clearance forms and other types of documentations that many nursing students have to use or utilize before they start clinicals. I know that the undergrad and graduate program, they're a little bit different, but here's the preview of the nursing Google website. But the clinical documents are somewhat similar, like the background check, the clinical health health clearance, um, the drug screen. I know with the graduate program, we have the preceptor request form. And with the undergrad, I think that you guys have a list for students to go to particular facilities. But this could be another option instead of using eClass where students can refer to without having to be enrolled in the eClass bulletin. If you have any questions, concerns, or recommendations, please don't hesitate to contact me or the Office of Online Learning. I enjoy working with the Office of Online Learning here at Mount St. Mary College, and I would like to also help with the nursing division as well. So please contact me if you have any questions or concerns or recommendations, and I would love to hear from you. Thank you.